Hello, my name is David Hughes. I'm a recording engineer here at Shine On Studio, and today we're going to cover some 101 basics. The first thing that we're going to cover is creating editing automation points. Uh, these are the little dots that appear on the black lines on your edit window. So just to show you how it works, I'm going to take this reverb auxiliary send that I have here. And if I hold down the command key while my mouse is over the line, you get a little hand that has a plus symbol. That allows you to add breakpoints where you want them. And this will allow you to adjust the automation. And right now we are making breakpoints on the volume automation line. If you want to get rid of the breakpoints, you hold down the option key and hover over and it gives you the hand with the little minus and you click on the automation point and it disappears. Now if we add a few, I'll add some here, and then just not touching anything on the keyboard using your mouse, you can click on the point and move it up or down, left or right, and you can see it gives you values for the volume decrease that I'm making here. And if I go above, it'll give me volume increase. So we'll put one there. And then we'll put one here. As if we wanted a slight dip in the reverb over this section. And let me bring up the fader for this track. And here is the fader. And you can see as the line gets to this point, the automation will tell the volume fader to decrease and then increase. You can see the volume fader is now automating down. You can see the value right here. We have a slight increase now. So this can be done for virtually any of the automation lines. Uh, the exception is the mute line where it's either on or off. You can make the points but you can't change the value because the mute is either on or off. So let me show you that one. You click this little arrow right here and this will give you another drop down window underneath your track and we can change this to the mute and now this time I'm going to just highlight the area where I want the reverb to mute and then use my smart tool up here to click when it's on the bracket where it says not muted now and drag it down and now it'll be muted and you can see that it created its own points and moved the line down to the muted side. And now you can see that the automation has been muted here. We can also do this for panning. I'm going to turn that off. And let's change this to pan. Let's do all pan types, which is going to give me the left and the right concurrently right here. Let's make the left pan this way, and we'll make the right pan this way. And now you can see that the pans will move. So this is just a simple way of adding some automation. Of course, this example isn't ideal for the type of music. I just wanted to give you some quick pointers on how to make these edits. And if you decide you're not happy with these or you just want to remove this section, you can literally highlight over and hit delete, and it will remove all the points that are highlighted. And that'll go for the volume line here too. If I hit delete, it'll take them away. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I thank you for subscribing to the channel, 
And if you have any requests for other videos that you would like to have me demonstrate how to do things in Pro Tools, please contact us directly at www.shineonstudio.com. Again, this is David at Shine On Studio. Thanks for watching.